Du Quan, fugitive crypto crash boss arrested in Montenegro. South Korea police say that Du Quan, the fugitive cryptocurrency boss behind the $40 billion, 32.5 billion pounds, collapse of the Terra USD and Luna tokens, has been arrested in Montenegro. He has since been charged with fraud by prosecutors in the U.S. Earlier this year, U.S. regulators accused Mr. Kwan and his company Terraform Labs of orchestrating a multi-billion dollar crypto asset securities fraud. The firm did not immediately respond to a BBC request for comment. South Korea authorities issued an arrest warrant for Mr. Kwan last September as they believed Terraform Labs had violated capital market rules. They had thought he was in Serbia, and even sent officials to Belgrade to negotiate, since the two nations do not have an extradition treaty. Mr. Kwan has previously denied he was in hiding but never revealed his location. News of his arrest was first shared by Montenegro's interior minister Philip Adzik, who said on Twitter that one of the world's most wanted fugitives had been detained at Podgorica's airport. Mr. Adzik added that the suspect was allegedly traveling under a false name with fake documents. Authorities were waiting for official confirmation of the man's identity, he said. On Friday, South Korea police confirmed that the suspect in Montenegro was Mr. Kwan, after his fingerprints matched official records. Mr. Kwan has separately been charged with fraud by U.S. prosecutors. He faces charges of securities fraud, wire fraud, commodities fraud and conspiracy, according to an indictment made public at the U.S. District Court in Manhattan on Thursday. A lawyer for Mr. Kwan did not immediately respond to BBC requests for comment. Montenegro does not have extradition treaties with the U.S. or South Korea. In February, U.S. financial regulators said Mr. Kwan and Singapore-based Terraform Labs failed to provide the public with full, fair, and truthful disclosure as required for a host of crypto asset securities, most notably for Luna and TerraUSD. They allegedly repeatedly claimed that the tokens would increase in value and misled investors about the stability of TerraUSD. However, the value of the token and its linked Luna cryptocurrency plunged to close to zero last May. It triggered a sell-off in major cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum and Tether. As a result, the term crash trended online. I am heartbroken about the pain my invention has brought on all of you, Mr. Kwan said at the time. Globally, investors in TerraUSD and Luna lost an estimated $42 billion, according to blockchain analytics firm Elliptic.